Hi, it's your Rosalind Jovan here for another exclusive deep dive as part of Black Enterprises inside the studio. Today, we're going inside Fox Soul's Cocktails with Queens with the queens themselves, Claudia Jordan, Lisa Ray McCoy, and Selena Johnson. The ladies are all well-established on their own across music, film, and television, and take time each week to share their perspectives on, their, on the culture's top trending topics. Join me in giving a warm welcome to the host of Cocktails with Queens. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. It's great to speak with you. I love all that you do. I love the show. Um, so we are back with a new season, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been, it's, it's been, it's the show that keeps on ticking, you know? Yes. Okay. Did, you, I, did I you all enjoy your time off? <laughs> time off? <laughs> Right. What time off? <laughs> right. Like, what it, it just keeps you mean going. Tuesday through keep Tuesday ticket. through Sunday. <laughs> right, Tuesday right. Tuesday through Sunday is our time off. Yeah, right. you're right. So going into this new season, was there a certain way that you wanted to kick it off? Um, no, we just kind of, it was just business as usual, just another year added to the resume and um not, nothing really different. I, I think if it ain't broke, why fix it? And it's pretty much the same. Like, it's more of the same. And the fact that the numbers have never gone down ever, they just continue steady or going up, is a testament that the people like what they see and what they hear. So we're going to keep on giving them what they like and what they hear, which is more looks. Yeah. More looks, more, more looks. sirs, more, you know, <laughs> eloquent. Because you're not really reading anybody, but it's just, it, it, it can come off to a read to some people just because it might be too truthful. <laughs> there you go that part. how do you decide which topics that you're going to tackle and who leads that discussion um it's... our oh go ahead, no, no, um, go ahead. Go ahead. um i'm just going to say our producers they curate our content um but claudia is the moderator of our show so she's the one who kind of um, gets us going, gets us involved, poses the questions, tells us the story, you know, um, gives us the, in the information that we need to be able to comment on. Um, and sometimes it's collective. Sometimes um, our producers will ask us if we want to talk about certain things or and sometimes we'll send the producers, um, um, you know, topics and, and things of that nature that we want to talk about. So it's collective, but mostly our producers um, they handle our, our content. And with you tackling topics as it relates to the culture, how do you feel about the current state of our culture? Ciao. Ooh. <laughs> I, was having a conversation. <laughs> I was having a conversation about this today. Um, we are in some dark times right now and we yeah. got too many people co-signing it that it's okay and it's cute to be gross. Race, I say this all the time, we are in a race to the bottom who can out ratchet each other, who can out gross each other, who can be less classy and more of a, a problem. Everyone's on demon time. Wait, let me take that back. It's not everyone. It's the people that are getting attention because it's plenty of us that would love for us to go back to the days of the Cosby show in a different world with this classy <laughs> boomerang when it was like that standard. Like I feel like the golden era for, for black America was in the nineties and the early two thousands where we wanted to be good looking and wealthy and healthy and classy and good. And now it's like, let me make a song about how many drugs I do. Let me make a song about how many black people I kill. I can kill. Okay. Why we, we are glamorizing the wrong stuff and we have got to stop. And I was, is it the chick? It's the chicken and the egg, right? What came first? Is it the consumer? fault that's buying it up or is it the production companies that are putting the stuff out there or what is social media we were having a discussion about this today i am so i am sick of it as well i'm tired because this is not who black people are and then got the nerve to say king and queen if you're going to use those words those are the, the tr king queen triggered bullied are the most overused words and brand most overused words and i'm sick of it you don't get to <laughs> say you a queen or a king acting or like a that. brand or brand Come on now. Sorry, I'm a little mad about that. <laughs> and this is why the views have not been touched. <laughs> because it's just speaking truth to power. Um, but, it, you know, it goes into my next question. And you kind of even explain my answer to it. But why are shows like Cocktails with Queens important for the culture? I think we want to shed some light on, on some of the buffoonery. And what I mean by that is, is that We'll pose the question and just wait and sit on it. Like, this is what you're doing. This is what you're saying. 
this is what you are showcasing as an example to the younger generation and your kids and everyone else that's out there watching you. This is what you're doing. Is this what you mean, mean to do? <laughs> you know, because sometimes you got to see it in an, a whole nother direction and a whole nother perspective. You know, sometimes when someone else says it, it makes you go, oh, yeah, that didn't sound so educated. Or, yeah, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say, hopefully, because, you know, I remember when my aunties were around and I acted a certain and a different kind of way because there was maturity and respect in the room. You know, even around the elders that were your neighbors, there was respect there. So hopefully having us four women of age and of experience and maturity will allow the younger generation to just hear our perspective because sometimes I find myself sounding like my mother. But there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that because wisdom don't go out the door no matter what age you okay. are. Wisdom is wisdom. It's always Sometimes in style. It's unexplained. What science may want to put a, a, a price tag on and put medicine in your mouth where our grandmoms used to go out there and get a leaf and put it on your forehead and boil it. And <laughs> then, you know, you're good. Can't explain it, but we know that it works. We know that it works from our elders. So some things don't have to be um, um, if it ain't broken, you don't have to fix it. You know what I mean? It's just like, you just got to trust it because they've been trusting and doing it for all these years, you know? And, and so, you know, sometime when we're talking, we're talking in a way in which we're trying to help them out from where they are and where they sit, because we've been there, done that. We've made those mistakes already. So we're trying to help you. I've said some things about some people that they thought I was just doing this, but really I was just doing this with my heart to say you don't have to go down that lane because people are watching you and i know that if you if you really saw what you were doing and what really people were looking at you you would go oh yeah i need to tone that down and that's all we're saying it's like help us make sense and help us be able to adapt to and to be able to um go along with the people out there that are are talking garbage and be able to be able to sit there and hold our own, you know, and not have to curse. We no look one. forward to when we see a clip from Cocktails with Queens because it's like, okay, they talking about something. We we need we know they're they're saying some type of truth to power to this situation, yeah. and we are listening to you with for that guidance and that wisdom. So yeah, you know, I I just want to add too. Sometimes though, and you 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 asked about the the culture. Sometimes I, I I wanna be I want somebody to delete me from the uh the, the chat, the group chat. Oh. <laughs> like I like sometimes okay, y'all culturing too much. It's too much. It's it's too much. Like sometimes there are a lot of unnecessary things that are down to the social media and really just down to what everybody is doing. Sometimes it's just too much. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I think people be doing the most and and and, and like kind of what Lisa Ray is saying, like just put a leap on your damn head. Sometimes y'all doing too much. You know what I'm saying? For me. And I don't even think it's it's like, oh, we like our mamas and we old school. Cause I think we're very forward and very now in a lot of, you know, a lot of areas. As entertainers, you have to be very forward and very now and on top of everything that's popping and what's going on right now. But some stuff is just I just think this culture in a lot of ways, this generation, it's just well, this newer generation is just doing yeah, the most. It's the most. Delete me sometimes. I agree. I, I can just go through my timeline on Twitter and I'm like, I didn't ask for that information. Right. And now it's in my head. Forever. And I'm just like, why do I? But um, tell us about the sisterhood between you and how you keep your bond throughout, you know, tough discussions. This started off during COVID yeah. where a lot of us were isolated from our friends, our family, there was no going to red carpets. There was no going out. There was no socializing and it, life changed for all. I mean, we're the same as everybody else that's watching our fan base. You know what I mean? And this came around and it was just so fun. And I think we're all just starved for human interaction at that time, you know? And it, it, I think a lot of things that came out of, there's a, a few good things that did come out of the pandemic. Yeah, it was a tragic thing, but then there's also like, we had to reimagine things, how we communicated with each other, how we produce shows. And it became like, almost like, 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 you know, how D-Nice had his, you know, the club and it was like every, a meeting place, everyone. Well, Cocktails with Queens was like that as well. You know what I mean? Like we 
We got together on Monday nights. We had a reason to get cute because I know during the pandemic, I was in flats. I was looking a hot mess. Okay. My hair wasn't done. My eyebrows had grown in. I, it was a mess. <laughs> but I had an excuse and a reason to get ready and to like, you know, get jazzed up. And like I was going to an event every Monday. And I think that's, I think that partially part of the reason why we bonded like during that. I think that definitely was, you know, something we all went through together. And with you all, you know, being decorated in your own right, like I said, across entertainment, has hosting the show impacted any of your personal relationships with people that you've might have talked about or even even if you didn't talk about them, just something that they might have felt strongly about? No, yeah, no. I, have. I was going to say, um, I have. Um, I had said something about um, Nicki Minaj that I meant. Um and I had said, you know, definitely a fan of her. I'm a fan of anyone that can change where they came from and make it work the way that she's done. And we've seen her change and seen her talent before our eyes. So that for me is an automatic hats off. But you cannot deny, and I don't like the younger women and talent that Sean, anybody that came before them. You cannot do that. You may not like that person. You may not have even been a fan of theirs, but you cannot deny what they have brought to the table culturally and in our business of entertainment, right. you know? And so I was like, well, you know, have a seat. Not to have a seat and sit down and pack up your career. No, we love your music, you know? But I was saying, humble yourself. That's what I was saying. But of course, you know, you can get attacked and then you have to come back and say, well, wait a minute, let me add this to what I said because you guys are taking it the wrong way. You know, and there's a lot of times when, you know, they said, we said this, and then we have to go back and go, we said what? And, you know, we twist it up and, and it's to be expected because I know that that's how the business is, it's clickbait. Right. It's what is, what is, what is that? Let me click on that. You know what I mean? And, and I get that. And, and once you understand that, then it doesn't bother you as much. Uh, I'm not one to really look into the comments and really give a damn or shit, really, or the other <laughs> word as well, you know, because they don't control me. And we have to have people that the, the ones that's afraid, that's censored, fine. But we have a show that we're not censored. So we're able to say what it is that we want to say. And again, this is our opinions, you know. This is not a Fox Souls opinion, you know. They have given us the platform to allow us to be able to do this. Um, word is not bond on everything we say, but our opinion is our opinion. And here's the thing. When you have someone that's younger, than, you have someone that's older being able to reach back and tell you something, all we're saying is take it with a grain of salt. That's mm -hmm. all. We're not trying to hurt anybody. Now, if you go to another level and you're trying to, you out there hurting us collectively as Black people, we're going to tell you about yourself. We're going to say, cut that shit out. Stop that. You're hurting us. It's mm -hmm. not helping. Use your platform for something different. We'll help you. And I don't know no other show that's doing that. Right. We like our show. <laughs> I love it. And just my last question, um, as a fan, can we ever expect to see you four come together in person for maybe like a live session, a live read, uh, for the fans to be able to engage with you for a live show? Oh. Well, we did uh, Jamaica, um, but it was still digital. We were all together uh, for the first time for the whole show. For all of our seasons, that was the first time. And that was fun, you know, um, just being together and supporting each other. We do that a lot, you know, when we're not on air. Um, however, Vivica and myself live in L.A. Selena is in Atlanta. And Claudia is in Dallas. So right now we'd have to figure out who would come where and do with <laughs> when, you know, any kind of thing. But it's not off, you know, you're not off subject or off topic by asking that because a lot of people have asked that and we talk about it collectively inside our our circle, sister circle. Speaking <laughs> oh, into, okay. Yeah, speaking that into existence. We're okay. gonna put some. We're gonna put some stuff together where we can have a meet. We need to have some meet and greets. I'm gonna go to go ahead and claim that right now. We're gonna have some meet and greets so the fans come see us live. We're going. We have to do that. Yes, we should just do them. Essence Fest. They should just have us come down there and we should just do Essence Fest. And we should just do multiple panels, like mm -hmm. the McDonald's stage. Like there's so many things that we could do. Essence, get oh, on top oh, of it. Yeah. Okay. We said it. You said it here. Thank yeah. you ladies so much. We're looking forward to the new season. And it's on Mondays at 8 p.m. 
Five on the West Coast, eight on the East. Yep. All right. Thank you, ladies. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.